The last few years have brought us many new discoveries, confirming the importance of thorough machine cleaning. Only about 2% of the microorganisms in a cutting fluid system are found in the coolant itself. The other 98% adhere as biofilm to walls and under covers, in piping and on chips in the sediment. The 2% microorganisms in circulation can easily be eliminated without much effort. Removing the 98% adhering to surfaces is a challenge. The only way to flush them out is by thoroughly cleaning the machine according to plan. By the way, this microorganism distribution is always the same. It applies to all our products, machines and systems. We analyzed cutting fluid samples taken from 120 customer machines shortly after refilling. The differences were dramatic. Only a quarter of these customers had thoroughly cleaned their machines before refilling. And these were the only samples with good results. Half the customers had cleaned their machines inadequately. These samples were slightly polluted accordingly. And a quarter of the customers had either cleaned their machines inadequately or not at all. So these emulsion samples taken just after refilling were already polluted heavily with dirt and residues of the previous product. Carefully planned machine cleaning is very important. Otherwise cleaning may be necessary at the worst moment under pressure of time to resume operations as quickly as possible. Well-planned cleaning generally allows for more time to do the job properly. First, the time available for cleaning has to be determined. Also, make sure enough system cleaning agent and emulsion concentrate will be available. Both requirements depend on the size of the machine and cutting fluid system. Before refilling, the machine must be thoroughly cleaned. This is decisive for long emulsion life and production process stability. Prior to the actual cleaning procedure, add 2% blaser system cleaner by volume to the old emulsion during normal operation. Continue working with this mixture for seven days so that it can circulate thoroughly. The longer it takes effect, the better the results will be. For very dirty machines, increase the system cleaner dosing to 3%. For safety, shut the machine down prior to mechanical cleaning. Clear away all peripheral equipment and working materials around the machine. Remove foot pedals and other auxiliaries and set them aside for cleaning. Clean the floor and working surfaces free of oil and swarf. Remove the cover plates for cleaning later on, together with the emulsion tank. Pump all the old emulsion out of the system. Any auxiliary tank with a high pressure pump must also be emptied completely. Allow enough time according to tank size. According to machine type, Remove and clean the vacuum system, air filter, oil separator and other equipment. Now clean thoroughly inside the machine housing and remove all swarf. Don't forget to clean those parts that are difficult to access. Residual emulsion must now be removed out of all machine tanks.
pump the old emulsion out of the vacuum tank into an empty drum or vessel for professional disposal. Make sure new unused filter paper is available for band filter systems. Then drain residual fluid out of the filter tank and clean it internally. Now wash the filter basket thoroughly. Clean the chip conveyor and remove all swarf and residues. For this purpose remove the chip conveyor if possible. Reserve enough time for cleaning the chip conveyor because this job requires a lot of effort. Remove the main cutting fluid pumps from the tank and dismantle them for cleaning. Pull out the cutting fluid tank from under the machine for thorough cleaning as far as possible. Remove all swarf and chips. Clean the outside of the cutting fluid tank and the working area around the machine. Reassemble the main cutting fluid pumps after thorough cleaning and reinstall all the cleaned covers and screens. Reinstall all the hoses and electrical connections. Reinstall pedals, auxiliaries, vacuum unit, oil separator and other equipment in their original positions. Now comes the flushing procedure. First fill the tank with fresh emulsion at 2% concentration. We recommend filling to operating level in order to optimally flush out all residues. After filling with this low concentration emulsion, restart the cutting fluid system and flush for at least 30 minutes. Meanwhile, check for any leakage and make sure all hoses and nozzles are well flushed. After flushing for 30 minutes, pump out all the rinse emulsion. The flushing procedure for an additional tank with a high pressure pump is exactly the same. High pressure cleaning removes residues very efficiently. After completely extracting the emulsion used for flushing, the machine is filled with fresh cutting fluid emulsion in the quantity and concentration recommended by Blaser customer service. Important! The refractometer reading multiplied by the refractometer factor gives the concentration in percent. After filling, label the machine with the cutting fluid name, article number, working concentration and top-off concentration. Now the optimal foundations have been laid for maximum production efficiency. Experienced users let the newly filled emulsion rest for a few hours before circulating to achieve optimal foam behavior. Professional machine cleaning enables unrivaled sump life of the coolant. <laughs>